elements and compounds. Everything around us, whether it is gas, liquid or solid, is made up of matter. When matter is observed closely, it is seen to be made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms combine to form molecules that make up different kinds of substances around us. The molecules that make up matter can be classified as elements or compounds. Let us learn more about these today. Let us use some colored beads to understand how elements are different from compounds. Consider the yellow beads as oxygen atoms, the red beads as hydrogen atoms, and the blue beads as carbon atoms. Let us try to make an oxygen molecule, a water molecule, a carbon molecule, and a carbon dioxide molecule using these atoms. You know that one oxygen molecule is made up of two oxygen atoms. So here we go. One and two oxygen atoms put together and we have an oxygen molecule. Now the water molecule. One water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So we need one yellow bead and two red beads to make one water molecule. This seems interesting. Let us continue to make the carbon molecule and the carbon dioxide molecule. One carbon molecule is made up of two carbon atoms. So here is one and two put together and we have a carbon molecule. The carbon dioxide molecule on the other hand is made up of one carbon and two oxygen atoms. So here is one molecule of carbon dioxide. Here are all molecules we have made so far. Do you notice that the molecules of oxygen and carbon are made up of only one kind of atoms? Well, all such molecules that are made up of only one type of atoms are called elements. But then, what about molecules like water and carbon dioxide? Well, all such molecules that are made up of more than one type of atoms are called compounds. The properties of a compound are different from the properties of the elements that make the compound.